Hello world, I'm Rich, and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Kind of a dreary day out here, but we're going to get a big beer and see if that'll help us out. Hey, today we're going back to uh, Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, Founders Brewing. We're getting their Devil Dancer. The Devil Dancer, it's a triple IPA, 12.0% ABV. <laughs> I've never had a triple IPA, so gonna give it a try it comes highly recommended by a couple of guys at the store I work at um, I've never had oh my god citrus just on the right away I want to get the uh, get this glass here I pour it pretty aggressive see if we can get get some head there look at that 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 was poured fairly aggressive it's a uh, strawberry there's hints of brown in there, but it's like a strawberry, uh, orangey red. Uh, I guess strawberry's probably the right, not kind of bright strawberry, but I don't know. You get the picture. It's It's got a lot of red going on. Oh, there's citrus all over this. A lot of orange, some grapefruit. There's a malty uh, component to it. I do have this probably... 50, 55 degrees, maybe even a little warmer. It's just down at cellar temperature. There's a maltiness, a, uh, a bready, kind of honey bread sweetness. I like it. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh, there's this caramel caramel sweetness malty the citrus piece the malt hits me right away that breadiness that sweet honey breadiness and then uh, then the citrus comes on um, this was bottled I, I should have told you that right away bottled on May 3rd of this year so little over a month old um, so I don't think the hops have dropped off too much uh, but that the malty sweetness comes out before the uh, citrus component. That is smooth. So smooth. You know what? This reminds me of a barley wine. It, it is so malt forward. I think the alcohol and the, uh, the hops are, are that citrusy component are playing together. I get that orange, I get that grapefruit, but the uh, that booziness along with that, it, it reminds me of a good American barley wine. Now I'm getting some other, I mean you can feel the warmth on this one, 12%. Uh, this is a sipper. Oof. And now that I've had a couple of sips, oh man, it is like the strawberry coming out. A, a strong, for me, a strawberry, I mean it almost matches the, the color, a strawberry flavor. Um, oh, very much like a, uh, a, a tartar strawberry, but that strawberry's coming out. Oh, this is, this is really nice. Uh, nice beer this is gonna be one I'm not gonna sit and slam it on camera my brother wouldn't even be able to take one of these down uh, uh, during filming that booziness uh, not overboard but it's there Wow um, like I said malty honey sweetness little citrusy booziness br uh, barley wine ish uh, flavor and this strawberry that's really really unique I'm getting a strawberry flavor as my whole chest warms up from the booze, Woo. Um, a nice nine out of ten. This uh, I think I've been given everything a nine out of ten. This is a really good beer. Uh, this is one that you're going to sip all evening. Um, this is not one to pound away the four pack. I think I think the four pack of these is twenty bucks. But if you're having one one of these for an evening, a five dollar evening of beer, there it is. Uh, don't get her too cold. This is this is perfect at cellar temperature, um, but I really like it. Nine out of ten. If you've had this, uh, put some comments down below here, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube. It's really nice. Uh, 
the Devil Dancer Triple IPA Founders Brewing out of uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 12.0. Uh, um, go If you can get a chance, grab a four pack and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for sharing another beer with me, world. The first uh, triple IPA of my career. Cheers.